All right, we're back again. Welcome back to Momodora 4, if you want to call it that. I figured I would just keep doing this this weekend and see if we can't, can't crank out hard mode. Because yeah, should only be this stream left to complete it unless there's some massive difficulty spike. But I don't remember there being any massive difficulty spike just playing normally. So we do have very, very little health, though. That could be an issue. I don't know, we'll see. And then my plan is to, if we finish this in a reasonable amount of time, maybe, what is this sign? Oh, personnel only. I didn't even know you could check that. If we finish this in a reasonable amount of time, uh, I guess I'll give you the tissue, why not? Not gonna go in there though. Uh, then I'm gonna try insane mode. Just try it out. Okay, that's it. Just, like, see if it's even reasonable. If we complete, you know, the... the what's, what's it called? The forest stage or something like that. And it just seems like, okay, this is unreasonable. It's way too much. I can't even beat this. Then, uh, yeah, I'll probably just ignore it. But we'll see. very loud right now. Hold on. Gotta turn down my volume. Yeah, I guess this thing is only... The only point it has is just if you don't have... Wait. Yeah, what is the point? Like, can't you just jump this normally? Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, okay. Normally you can't jump even with a double jump. And yeah, I guess you're... Oh. I guess you're expected to go through the other way around normally. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, forgot about this guy. Oh. Stop jumping into me, please. Whoa, what is this? Don't remember ever seeing that. But okay, that wasn't too bad. I don't know if that's like a unique attack to hard mode. Or if that's just because I always kill him before he does that attack. Yeah, now we're here. What is that down there that's uncovered? Oh, that's just the screen, like, when climbing up from the subterranean, and I don't think there was anything there, so we can probably just ignore that. I'm still gonna need more money if I actually want to get the fire thing, but I'm not sure if I should even care. I don't know if I'll need it. Okay, yeah, we still have the magnet on. This guy is still here, yeah. Kinda curious about that, actually. If we talk to him now, does he just go into the cell? Even though the cell is open? Or does he go to, like, the third location? I'm not sure I'm gonna bother checking. Again, kind of pointless collecting this, but whatever. I don't even remember what you get for all the ivory bugs. I don't know if it would help in any way. Probably not. Wow, surprised they didn't take damage. Alright, good.
Oh, ow. Uh, there's a secret down there, right? Is there? Maybe not. No, I think I'm thinking of a different screen, so let's just ignore that. Yeah, at least, at least this one isn't too bad. And I guess we can just go. I don't need to collect anything from the left, as far as I remember. a lot of damage. Oops. Yeah, this has nothing as far as I remember, just that music music box. Probably a good thing I didn't do this last time, because yeah, I think I remember this taking quite a while. Some nice money at least. Oh boy. So yeah, here we go. 2,000, yeah. All right. We'll see. Could go and farm it right now if I want to. Uh, hold on. Is this... Is this the teleport spot in this place? No. When you teleport here, it's like... Yeah, it's back here. All right, so because of that, I'm gonna go farm it now. Because otherwise, I'm gonna have to, like, go through more of it at the end, I think. So I guess maybe the final one is a better teleport. I can't remember, but yeah, let's let's go farm. Where is the good farming spot again? Uh wh where am I? Oh, that was weird. Uh, I think it's up and then right, isn't it? Uh-oh. Doesn't seem like it's here. Where is it? Hmm. No, that's not it. Was it down below? Oops. Also, we don't have all the bell flowers I need either. But I guess those might be in the final dungeon. I don't remember. You'd think I would know, like, all of the spots for things by now. It's only been, like, three playthroughs. Here we go. Okay. Couldn't quite remember. What? Oh, fucking curse. God damn it.
Hmm, that actually does seem slightly faster. Almost there. Like two more. Oh, come on. Okay, you can't do that. Why wasn't that a triple shot? Oh my god. Oh boy. Alright, at least I'm, I'm here. Okay, so, I think that's still worth it. And I'm gonna use it instead of this one. And then we'll probably swap on poison, I guess, for boss fights. Well, the boss... No, I guess there's there's multiple. There's the, the duo, and the, like, fairy thing, or whatever. And the final one. Ow. Neither of them reacted, that was weird. Oh, great, he reacted. <sighs> nope. How did I do that the first time? I guess maybe it's better to, d to go like further down. Oh, come on! Yeah, that hitbox is, like, way too big. I wasn't even close. I just want to bait this guy out. Can you move? What? What is happening? Jesus! I mean, at this point I can kinda just enter pacifist mode, right? Like, I don't actually need to kill anything, because I don't need any more money, as far as I remember. So we could kind of just, like, rush ahead, if possible. I'm gonna ignore that. Guess I should ignore this as well. This is just a bonus screen, but I don't remember what all of them have. Thank you. 
I wonder, yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if those one-shot you in this mode. Oh yeah, the wind. Was there any, like, reason to do that? Was that, oh, that was the, uh, the golden leaf, was it? Might have been. Yeah, I guess we'll just go down. Great. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's kind of a scary screen. Alright, good. At this point, I'm basically skipping most of this, but hopefully that's fine. Alright, boss time. Let's get the poison. I think I can use arrows on her, right? No. So this is gonna be someone I need to, like, actually learn the patterns of. I don't know this fight very well. Can I still use poison? No. You can't even use poison on her, so that doesn't do anything. Alright. I mean, she seems pretty simple. So instead of poison... Pierce? I wonder if that would work. That's kind of the only thing I have. Let's try piercing and see if that actually does work on her armor. It doesn't seem like it, because if it did, it would probably work on this guy. I'm assuming that's, like, the same type of, uh, whatever you want to call it, like, property. Maybe I should go back after getting this shortcut again. Damn, that's not good. Alright, let's see. Man, it's like the collision damage is kind of the worst thing. At, at least that's very small, very minor, but you just get hit so easily by them.
You know, when they just, like, roll into you or just walk into you. Hmm. Don't get too greedy. Jesus. That felt kind of hopeless to even avoid. Damn, I thought I had one that was like a heal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything that's actually good for this. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I, I guess I'll keep the poison for the second phase. I mean, I could just swap it on, but... Yeah, nothing really matters here. Yeah. Guess I should try the missive as well. Whoops, wrong button. Man, I don't know, like, it's so hard to tell her, her tell for just that, like, short-range attack is so small that, like, you can't really stay close to her, but then if you don't stay close to her, how do you hit her? You can't use arrows. I don't know. This actually seems like one of the worst bosses in the game for this type of, like, hard mode thing. Like, any boss that you can't use arrows on is just absurdly difficult, because that's your main damage. And it kind of, like, invalidates most of your arsenal. She's also, like, very inconsistent to stun. Sometimes she stuns, sometimes she does not, and I can't really tell when that happens. I really can't tell when it happens. It's just completely, like, RNG-based, it seems. Some hits, she just gets instant stunned after one, and then other times she just ignores an entire combo. Not really sure what to do about that. Yeah, she just sometimes kind of instantly attacks. Like there? Like, what was I supposed to do? She just attacked instantly. I, I don't know. I don't understand. This just seems like a, a complete RNG fight to me. I didn't realize this fight was so... kind of bad, in my opinion. Not, not even any point continuing when you take a hit like that. Oh, that's the wrong one.
Like, you don't really notice this when it's normal mode and you can tank a few hits, but... When suddenly every single hit matters, this becomes a lot more obvious. Like, she just doesn't seem to be... have any consistency. And then that's just phase one, too. I don't even remember if... The archer is... Wow! Fan-fucking-tastic. Great. Oh, boy. Not even insane mode, by the way. Looking good. And this thing is pure RNG as well. That's fun. And I really wish you could skip these after doing it once. If you retry, it should just know that you've already talked to them and not play the, uh, the cutscene again. Even though it's small. I don't understand. Why no stun? Why no stun? I don't know if I can get more health at this point, too. I don't remember how many health ups there are, and you can't check that. Since I've already gotten the achievements. Yeah, like, sometimes she just instantly does attacks. And, like, follow-ups and stuff, and what do you do? God! By the second, I'm hating this fight more and more. This just seems bullshit. Yeah, that's true. If I'm getting, like, basically one shot on hard, then insane mode can't really get much harder, but who knows, maybe they have different attacks or faster patterns or something like that as well. Wait, I am getting one shot because I'm using the missive, but, like, I need the missive damage and I don't want to waste a heal after using a missive, but I, I guess I should. But I assume in uh, insane mode, like, I, I don't understand. In insane mode, you probably would get one shot. Oh, come on. If I, if I didn't stun her there, I would have been dead. So that just felt like luck. And now I'm just like doing no damage because I'm playing so passively. So I don't think playing passively is even the answer. This seems to work out. Yeah, no healing now. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay. I, I don't want to upgrade my leaf, because if I upgrade my leaf, I have to do the final phase of the final boss, which is probably a lot harder 
than being leaf upgrade less. And the other one, the other uh, damage upgrade is like half as good as this one. I just can't remember if I can have more healing at this point. I think I might be missing like one bellflower. Did did the ivory bug quest have have a bellflower upgrade? Because maybe that would help. Oh, great, yep. Once again, that just felt like RNG. If only I understood her stun mechanic, it would be so much easier. I just, I can't reliably know when it's safe to attack because sometimes she gets stunned and sometimes she does not. It's really strange. Like there, what the hell? No stun? Now stun, why? Yeah, I wish I could know this pattern. Like, I don't even know what the knife girl really does. Oh, man. Well, I'll have to redo, like, so much if I do this, but... Guess I want to see if I can turn in enough for the bunny. Honestly, it's probably closer to go from here. Hell, I wonder if maybe I should just be a cat during that fight. Because, yeah, all you can not do is using the, uh, the bow, and I can't do that anyway. I mean, I can on phase two. Maybe I should be using the bow on the archer. Yeah, okay, there we go. And I think the final bellflower is, like, up in... past this fight, so we can't get more than that, but... that's still very helpful. I don't know if there's any other item that would actually help out at this point. I can't remember what you have. Hold on. I need to, like, look this up. Passive items. That's just the easy mode ring. Adia's Pearl. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of like... No damage ones. I guess maybe I'll get those on insane mode. We'll see if that's actually reasonable. Kind of surprised I haven't managed to no-hit any boss, or didn't I? Like, I thought I know hits What's-Her-Face, Frida, or something, but I guess not. Resistance to status ailments doesn't do anything. Necklace of Sacrifice would be decent. 100% more attack when in low health. But that that's 700. I mean, I, I do have almost that, so maybe I should just go buy that. Most of these, like, no-hit items are actually just the same as other items in the game. It's kind of weird. Like, the one you get for Lubella is just restores HP per kill. Same as the, uh... What was that? Red Ring? But it just doesn't have the downside of enemies do not dropping money. And yeah, Idea's Pearl is just poison on your arrows. Same as the, uh, what, Dull Pearl? You were close on the first one? For first one what? The knight, you mean? 
increases power of arrows. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, no. No, no, no. That's like the secret boss, right? Oh, no, yeah, th that's this one. If I would kill these without taking any damage, I would get increases power of arrows, but is that the only way to get that? I guess so. Hmm. Well, let's try a cat run. Uh, the problem with cat run is I can't heal. I really hate that the cat can't climb up ladders, like, realistically fine, but just in terms of the gameplay, it would make sense to have the cat be, like, the more maneuverable one that you want to use when you're traveling around and stuff like that, but then there's so much verticality and ladders and shit that- oh, good start. Well, I guess I'll just no-hit this, why not? Yeah, you just, like, can't use the cat, really. Good. I wonder how those no no damage achievements or items work though. Like can I take damage before the boss fight? Can I intentionally get myself down to very low health and use the ring of sacrifice to get double attack for the entire fight? Can you use missives that do damage to yourself? I don't know, like what the restrictions are. If it's just don't get hit by one of their attacks, maybe that would be worth trying actually. Good. Jesus, stop spamming. Hmm, damn. I need to get closer to her when she's doing the charge up and then like roll through it. Like that is... Oh, never mind! Okay! I did that a couple times and it seemed pretty reliable, but nope, that was also just pure RNG that I managed to get damage in those times. If she wants to, she can just instantly follow up with an attack. Yeah, this fight sucks. This seems so poorly designed for, like, no damage in mind. Oh my god. There were, like, very few issues on hard mode until now. Yeah, I guess honestly I should remove the dull pearl. I'm I'm going grinding. I'm going for the ring of sacrifice instead. I think that's gonna be better. Cause I'm I'm just sometimes like poisoning myself and there's no point when I can't use it anyway. I just wish you could teleport to all of these save points. It's very annoying having to go back through.
Wait, where, where was it again? I always forget. I think it was this way. Yeah. So dodging is slower on the cat. You don't have it, right? Nope. I'm pretty sure it's the Karst City one. Stop. It's not. God damn it, then where was that again? I'll have to check the map. No, that's not it. This one. Can't see it. Where is it? I'm, I'm looking here for it. Where's Ring of Sacrifice? Neck it's called Necklace of Sacrifice, goddammit. Okay. E. That's down here. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of losing hope by the moment. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to do this today. see. Actually, yeah, I guess let's let's try it. Is that low health? Yeah, I think I have it active at this point. Well, the damage is nice. Can, can you stop? Mm. This seems like it can work. Because, yeah, I mean, if I have low health, then basically I'm just halving the amount of good RNG I need. I don't know if I should be fighting as a cat or not. Like, I don't know if there's really any benefit. Again, I just don't know when it's safe to attack. Well, didn't think that arrow would hit. I could probably just run past that. Gah. 
god, even though it's like a 10 second cutscene, it sure gets old after a while. Thanks. I guess it's it's mostly like two of those attacks in a row, and then you have an opening. But I don't know if that's consistent either. Oh, okay, nice hitbox. Don't think I'm doing this hitless, but I don't think I really care. Great. Yeah, th this is just not fun at all. This is a terrible fight. And again, it's just such a weird, like, difference, because when playing in a normal mode or easy mode, these felt totally fine. There was, like, no problem, but I guess I just probably got hit several times and didn't really consider it. Because, like, you you can. I'm assuming in insane mode, pretty much everything will just instantly kill you. Three! Oh, never mind! She can do three! So fuck that strategy, I guess. That's not a pattern you can rely on. God, this is so bullshit. She just randomly decides to kill you if she feels like it. There's no pattern. There should be like a fucking parry, like in Blasphemous or something. Sometimes she just does one, apparently. Hmm, I rolled, but I was like in the middle of a hit lag animation. Honestly, it just seems like being more aggressive is like better, so I just get the fight over with quicker, even if it's not completely reliable. Maybe I should even missive. I think I can tank one more missive. I mean, that's a lot of damage. That could work. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Well, I guess we can find out. Can you kill yourself with a missive? I'm gonna assume yes, probably. Sure enough.
Good. Yeah, I guess using the missive means I can't tank any hits, even when she walks or rolls into you. Oh boy. Maybe I should just like watch a video of someone doing this hitless on insane mode or something, just to see what the actual openings are, because it just seems random to me. See, like, she just didn't care. Why? And it's not like a time thing. I was thinking, oh, maybe she only gets stunned like once every two seconds or something. But no, then sometimes you wait and then you just hit once and she just doesn't get stunned anyway. It's just there's no consistency. Rotten Bellflower and Impurity Flask. That's a good point. I, I knew about the Impurity Flask, but I kind of forgot that Rotten Bellflower is, like, poisons you. And when we saw it, it was like, why would you ever use this? That's that's pointless. But yeah, I, I think having the double damage is probably going to make this easier than having healing over time. But I don't know, maybe that might be worth it. Damn, that, that was just me being bad. No RNG there. Where do you even get the rot rotten bellflower? I don't... That was from, from the imp, was it? The, like, imp trading quest from the suspicious mushroom. But where did you get the suspicious mushroom? I don't remember. And that's still just, like, it poisons you one time when you use it, and you have it as one active item, right? So... It wouldn't last the entire fight. Jesus! Yeah, what do you do when she just pushes you into a corner? Rolling into you, why not? Why not just roll into you? Yeah, she just, like, has no pattern. It's just completely random what she does when. That was just me being stupid again. Every time I've gotten close, it's been because there wasn't terrible RNG, but then I still just mess it up. Maybe I should try being a cat again. 
We're using the missive. I'll use the missive. Hmm, damn. Yeah. Thought she would get stunned. She didn't. That was very close. Oh, fuck you. Damn it. One hit away. Well, that seems like the better way to do it. You can skip it? Holy crap, wait. I need to test that next time. Yeah, it kind of seems like just outspacing her might be the best thing to try. Oh, that was just bad. Can I actually skip the cutscene? That makes this like 30% less frustrating. No. Mmm, I think I can just take a like regular hit. Just that. Ah. The missive might kill me. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, you can. Why don't they say that anywhere? Like, when you pause the game in the middle of a cutscene, you would assume it doesn't skip it. Well, that would have been nice to know, like, hours ago. Holy crap. Well, now I can die even faster. Yeah, this just really, like, sucked all the enjoyment out of even trying this hard mode thing. Because, yeah, so far it's especially just been, like, the bosses have all been really good and really fair, and then the enemies are the hard part. That's what's, like, tricky to deal with. Oh, that was bad timing. Yeah, like, at least Archer Girl follows a distinct pattern that is, like, if you get hit by Archer Girl, it's completely, completely your fault. Even though it does seem like it's random, whether she uses, like, the one strong arrow or the, the spread, but even so, you know when they're coming. Oof, that was bad. Okay, well that was very fast. So how does she work? I don't know how she works. I don't know how she works! God damn, I just don't know this, this phase at all. I also need to remember to start using the, uh, the bow again. Like, I don't know if maybe I should just go ham if I can stun her more reliably. I wouldn't imagine you can just perma-stun her. Okay, thought I could get a full combo off. No, I don't want to heal after the first phase, because I want the double damage, but... 
I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should, just to learn the pattern. Good. Whoa, that's new. Let's just full heal, why not? Okay, you can't just wail on her. Alright, just just wanted to test that. Yeah, I guess you can still heal and it would still count as like no hits. Assuming you don't get hit, but then I'm just trading half my damage. Yeah, I, I want to say I don't want to heal for that second phase. It seems like she doesn't really do much in terms of range. She just shoots up and down and then stabs. I don't know if she does anything else, but maybe if I just bow consistently and just keep away, maybe that'll be easy. So we'll see. So now she should get stunned, yeah, but I can't really capitalize on it. Hmm, that was bad. Yeah, that, that third hit is just like never worth using. It does a lot of damage, but yeah, you get so... you become so vulnerable. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I don't like this. Eh, no missive, I guess. Oh, whoops. Yeah, never go for the third hit. If anything, I should do, like, two hits and then a... Oh, you can't even do that. You can't do like two hits and then a jumping hit. Maybe just two jump hits. Maybe just only jump hits. Never anything except jump hits. They're stronger and safer most of the time. Okay, not that aggressive though. I wonder if the stun is consistent, if it seems- it seems like every other attack. Like, she has to do one attack, and now I can stun her after this one, and she gets stunned. And then if I attack now, she wouldn't get stunned, but now she will get stunned the next time. Great. I think that seems consistent. So it's not complete RNG, it's just like... After she's been stunned, she will do one attack, and then until she does the second attack after being stunned, she can't be stunned. Something like that. So now she can be stunned again. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, that, that helps quite a bit, at least. But there's still a bunch of RNG with, like, her pattern, what she chooses to do. Great. Uh, 
I think I can't use the missive. Oh man, fucking run back as well. That was stupid. Literally never, ever do the third hit. Just don't do it. Why am I doing it? I don't know why I'm doing it. I just think I can get away with it. Never do it. Good fucking god. Jesus, okay. I could get off one more hit. Yeah, this is so frustrating. Like, I just, I wanted to finish hard mode today, but that's just not happening. There's no fucking way. What the hell was that hitbox? Literally a full stream on just one boss fight. Get greedy. I'm not gonna heal though. Oh, fuck you! Wow. Okay. You can't do that. Probably shouldn't roll on that that phase, just like air dash instead, so you get further away. God, that Medusa head is so awful. She's being weird. Stop being weird. Why are you being weird? What the hell? Fucking RNG.
God damn it, man. That is so fucking annoying. RNG enemies, RNG bosses. Holy fucking shit. I don't know if I'll be like in the threshold if I use the missive. Nope. Well, I'm sure she'll like, yeah, there we go. Roll into me or something. I just don't understand, like, why make a Metroidvania with difficulties this, this high, where like a single mistake messes you up and then you fill it with RNG. Like, I, I just don't understand why you make things random instead of things you can consistently learn and get down and make it feel satisfying. Like, hard games are fun if they feel fair. This doesn't feel fair. Like, if she uses this attack, I just can't do anything. I, I just can't get in on that at all. Oh god, that's a lot. Holy shit, that's all I had to do. Jesus Christ, I just needed one actual full charge. So does it even count? I'm kind of thinking it might not count. It didn't count? Because I technically, like, took damage in the fight using the missive? Oh man. Well, fuck it. I don't need whatever that is. Uh, oh god, is there a save point coming up? There is, right? Yeah, whatever. I don't need heavier arrows. Let's just fucking go. Like, that doesn't even feel satisfying in the end. Uh-oh. Well, we just have to hope that those were, like, the single worst moment in the entire game, and everything else is gonna be totally fine now. Does, does this thing give me anything? Nope. Oh, right. So yeah, now I kind of feel like there's no point even getting more health ups and stuff like that. If I'm just going to try for the missive or a low health strat. Uh, I don't know where to go. I don't remember. Yeah, I think up here. Also, we should switch back. I mean, not that I need any of this, really. I guess drilling arrows is probably the best thing I can use. Oh, I was stuck in the third hit. Never do it. Not even against normal enemies. Just don't do the hit. Delete the hit from the fucking game. Make it a two hit combo instead. It would be better. Uh, 
Uh, if these are like one shots, not entirely sure what to do here. I'm just going to get hit by the second one, right? There's no way I can avoid this. Oh no, I can do that. Why is this? Oh, it's a, a lantern. I thought he was like shining. Uh oh. Oh god. All right, they don't do like insane damage at least. This is just normal enemies. Yeah, piercing arrows are very, very good. Down there was just like a collectible of some kind. Yeah, piercing arrows are very nice. Oh, this is a bonus thing. That's just the, like, the chest, I believe. No? No, that's further up and to the left. Nope. God damn it. Pointless money. Just wait a bit. later. Alright, let's see if this fight is as annoying. Oh, it's not quite there yet. I thought it was the, the fairy. Here we go. I guess with piercing arrows, I can maybe just like pierce through all of them and hit her no matter which one she is. No? It just does nothing? I guess she's immune to arrows. Yeah, okay. Alright. Why are there only two? Aren't there usually three? I don't know which one it was there. I don't know. And now I'm not seeing the tell. What's the tell? I thought it was like... I'm actually gonna look this up. Because I never fully understood that. I thought it was just like... The one that was lower or the one that was like a different elevation. But it, it kind of doesn't seem like it. Random guesses, someone says. I beat it with luck. They shoot a unique kind of shot. I mean, oh, you have to wait for them to attack first. The real one signals her attack with a red circle, while the other ones, the fake ones, have white circles. All right. But it, it seems like the position can be a tell, but I guess that is maybe also just RNG. Uh, I'm just going to put this on, but I'm not going to go down to low HP. Great, I'm gonna go down to low HP. It's fine, I'm just setting up. No, actually, let's just heal up. I just need to, like, get some practice in. At least this one doesn't have a cutscene. That's nice. So I can probably even skip that. What? That was... it was the only one. Ah, okay. Well, there we go. Should 
probably just do two jumping attacks instead. Yeah, see, their position was fine. Position again. Yeah, it's weird. Sometimes you can definitely tell. But not always. Couldn't tell. Oh, there's there's four. Ah, I thought there were only three. I guess that's why. So it is the position as well. It is the one that's lower, but sometimes you don't even see the right one on the screen. Yeah, like right now, she's all the way over here. Okay, all right. Now that makes sense. Kind of annoying that she's so far away. And I guess if I take too long, I really should just like attack whichever one to stop the attacks. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. That's no big deal. Could have probably done that. What, what do you get for uh, beating her? Uh, hold on, I guess let's check this guide again. Does she have one of those no damage items? Because I feel like I can do that, if so. 19? No? Uh... Doesn't seem like it. How would you see? I don't really understand. How, how do you see which... Which one is a boss? I, I don't get, like, how you see which item you get from which boss. Here, I guess you see heavy arrows? But yeah, no item there, but just like, this is a very confusing way to convey this. I feel like you should have the bosses marked and then show which item they have. Oh well. That's good. Don't actually have to worry about it. Uh, where do I want to go now? This is just bonus. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's not just bonus. Do it. Oh boy. Oh, fuck you. What the hell? Fuck you. Oh god. Finally. Okay, well, that's it. Final boss time, right? Uh, do I want poison? Hmm. Guess I'm just gonna go with this, and we'll see. Can't skip now, weirdly enough. if it's more efficient to use the uh, the triple arrows okay gonna heal up
I don't know if I can keep attacking here. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, Jesus. See, like, this is a boss that has good tells. And li oh, little to no RNG. Almost got hit there. Crap, yeah, that was just my bad. That was also my bad, I know she does that. That is a totally fine fight. That's nice. No bullshit. What do you know? Yep, fucking Magnolia was like the worst fight in the game. Oh wait, Magnolia is the archer, right? It's a duchess something. I forgot. Can we skip? Nope. And yeah, it definitely seems like getting the bad ending is going to be easier for this. Even though you get more damage with a leaf, I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, that's it. All right, well, I mean, it did take about as long as I wanted it to take. It just was uh, kind of delayed for not what I wanted, or like, I didn't expect that one fight to take most of this time. But yeah, so now... We have Insane. Don't even try this. I'm gonna try it. I probably shouldn't. Maybe we should just leave it. And be happy, but... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it is just like literally everything one-shots you. And there's like 60 more enemies per screen, then maybe not. Yeah, well, we'll see. We, it's so weird that like some cutscenes you can skip, others you can't. I don't know what the. how it works, really. Well, I mean, she didn't take 10 arrows to kill. Okay, alright, well, pff, there you go. Oh god! Yeah, I didn't even notice the health bar. Oh no. Maybe it's like... There are no health up upgrades? That's kind of annoying too, because that means we can't use the Ring of... The Necklace of Sacrifice to get more damage either. It's just like, don't take a single hit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna at least try it. Oh yeah, this will be useful. do that. I don't even know if I died to the poison or to them. Honestly, I should kind of test that. I'm not going to, though. Oh, shit. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. This is probably how people found out about the no-hit boss items, because... You have to no-hit the bosses in Insane. But then, you would kind of... Come on. I should just shoot them. You would kind of imagine that instead of thinking that, oh, it's because I no-hit, you would think it's because it's Insane mode, but... Yeah, apparently not. Yeah, that's much safer.
I don't like this. Can you attack? You don't do that? Alright, well, we'll see. Uh, is there a save point, like, nearby? This is just a bonus. This is the Astral Charm. Guess I'll go get that, why not? Hmm. Doesn't seem like you can kill this guy before he gets to you. No other items in insane mode? I feel like the first, like, regular progression snag is gonna be Car City, because that place is kind of a nightmare. With all the, like, witches and dogs and stuff. So, let's see. Wow! Well, I basically doubled my health! That's pretty good. So, in that case, finding health ups is definitely worth it. Uh, I'm just gonna look up, like, how many health ups are there so we can try and keep track of that. Since there's no achievement to keep track of it anymore. What are they called? Like, vitality fragments? How many vitality fragments are there? Can someone just say it? They're just talking about like someone not having it, but I guess I should just check the fucking guides instead. Complete item list. No, that that's not it. God damn it, man. I just want to know how many there are. Why is it so hard to just find out? There are 18. There are 10. All the items. Nothing. But they don't mention it. What the hell? Why is there no mention anywhere about how many vitality fragments there are? That is so weird! It's like a, a guide for all of them, but it's just tons of screenshots. I literally just want to know the number. Why does no one say that? That's so weird. Yeah, I was just saying, collect all the vitality fragments. How many? Good fucking god. I think it's 18. You think it's 17? Because, I mean, the guy says he has all 17, and then Ardane says, oh, you're missing one, so wouldn't that mean that it's, like, 18? Or maybe he, he there are 17 and he thought he had gotten uh, 
all 17, but he only got 16. So it's either 17 or, or uh, 18. Man, why was that so hard to find? Oh god. I mean, that's actually, like, quite a decent bit of health in that case. So you only start out with absolutely none. I mean, it's probably not going to be easy. I don't think you'll be able to, like, tank attacks. But maybe you can at least somewhat survive. I'm just going to play this really safe. I don't think Ardine Dine is, like, counting it weird. It's just, like, I don't know what they meant. Like, when he said they were missing one, someone that said they collected all 17, I don't know if that meant that there's actually 18, or that they thought they had collected all 17, but there's actually... they only had 16, so... You know, I, it's just unclear a little bit. I wonder if I can skip that. Probably. Whoa, okay. Guess you wanna kinda roll through that or something. Oh god! Was there no tell in that? The other attacks have that like bubble. That one didn't seem to. You can't skip, damn it. Yeah, what what the hell? That attack just doesn't have a tell. Well, that's bullshit. I guess I should just play really safe and not go melee then. If I just use arrows instead. Yeah, I mean, she rushes forward, but that's during the attack. Like, she rushes forward and there is no time for you to react. Like, this one has a big tell. Yeah, I guess just play it safer. So now I should get the item, right? Or does it not count because I retried or some bullshit? No, okay, I did get it. Grants poison properties to your arrows. Adia was a sinner who betrayed her own people. For such acts, she was purged, and her body sent to a sacred grove far from home. Is that... is this Adia? But it's weird, like... What does that even do? Compared to the, the Dull Pearl? I guess we should still collect ivory bugs at least like 10 or whatever it is that you need for uh, for the bellflower upgrade. Uh, I guess I should be getting this attack upgrade because that's the only thing I can use really. Not that one. I'm not going to be able to use the missive at, le at least not for like a long time. Gotta be careful about this poison, though, like, since I can get poison myself. Maybe I should get that impurity flask, though, with this little health, it might not matter. Oh, okay, you can't do that. I thought maybe I could stun him.
Hmm. Not sure that's a good idea. She is poisoned. Yeah, get poisoned. Why didn't you get poisoned? That's two, I guess. Ah, oh, crap. I just wanted to go fast on that screen. Maybe I should at least take out the dogs first. And yeah, like I like I said, I think this kind of stretch until we get to the the chapel, the monastery, is probably like one of the hardest in terms of normal progression. So we'll see. I should probably just jump for her. Ah, but then I'll poison myself. Yeah, I don't know if my my current health bar would be considered low health. I guess maybe we should try and like collect. Oh god. Jesus, that screen is awful. I don't know if I should like collect enough money to get that as soon as we can, basically, so I can check that. Cause yeah, if if it does count, like even at full HP, it counts as low HP, because it's just like you have to have under a specific set amount of health instead of a percentage, then uh, maybe it's worth it to not collect any health upgrades. Oh, I can do this. And that, that works at least. Now this screen, though. Oh, the poison! Oh, nice! Forgot about the poison. Yeah, you just need to tag them once. Okay, that's better. Don't tag myself, though. Yeah, this stretch is so lengthy for some reason. Alright, there we go. Not yet. Alright, let's see what bosses are like. Oh, nice. You can skip that. Don't poison myself! Gotta be careful about that. Okay, she's coming. Gotta be very careful I don't poison myself now. Oh! Oh no. Oh, she's taking poison damage though. Okay, that's just one. Yeah, you just poison right in the cle- Damn, cleavage. 
regardless of where you hit. So as long as I don't stay right in the middle, I should be fine. Yeah, I didn't notice the tell for that. That thing, the like bottom one, that's the hardest attack to avoid. I am poisoned. Yep, yeah, good. Okay. Got jumping. There we go. If you're wondering, there's not really much of a tell. It's uh, the controller starts vibrating when she's appearing. Oh, yep, I saw it this time. That's the thing I mainly need to watch out for. Yeah, just keep doing that. I almost poisoned myself. Right, should die from the poison, I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. Oh, she did. Nice. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna once again just... Oh, all right. Yeah, no damage. Backman patch. Summon several back blocks. Is that the... Are those the, like, ones that crush things? The thwomps of this game? An absolutely tasteless object. Belonged to Mocha, the demon servant of the undead witch Lubella. Yeah, that was the guy that... Kind of betrays her at the end, I suppose? I don't know what I was saying. Right, yeah, I, I think it's probably going to be about the same, damn, and uh, mainly the knight and archer is going to be like the bottleneck. Because even, even no hitting most things, I feel is going to be more, more or less fine, like just a little bit of practice. It shouldn't be too bad, and I can also just ignore most of these enemies, I don't actually need to kill them. No, what? I think I I was holding slightly up or something. I didn't mean to talk. Ah. Stop. Uh is there a save point nearby here? Not really. Just wait for the poison, yeah. Watch out for the teleporting guy. Guess we'll go up this time? Or should I? That means I have to fight this night thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe going down is better. And then we get the faster charge as well. I, I feel like that's the best item to start with. Maybe we can do that and then the monastery. So we get the like fourth level. Skip it, please. Man, why can't you skip normal cutscenes? Hmm. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope. Alright, so I guess I want to farm up money. Hmm. Part of me is thinking I should go up and get into the monastery and farm up 700. But, eh. Nah. How was that I got this before? There we go. That's just money, I think. Never noticed this in the foreground. Weird, like, jellyfish thing. If only, oh, whoops. If only this was blasphemous and I could uh, just save and quit to get back. Yeah, I guess I honestly should just have this as my main item. Like, oh yeah, we should test this one as well. Like, just have this here. Because I mean, I almost certainly won't be needing bell flowers for most of the game. Holy crap! Alright, I mean, that might be worth testing on a fight. Like, Frida stays still for most of the fight. If that does, like, a good amount of amount of damage, it could be useful. It's just the cast time is so long, but... Maybe it's fine. Kind of wish there was an item that, like, shortened cast times or something. Then you could actually make use of some of those spells a bit more. Because I don't really feel like they're worth it. one's which. This is just a health up, but that's good. So what is that, three? I'm definitely losing count of that. Like, it's going to happen. Thank you. And let me confirm as well, it- ooh. I didn't even realize the arrows themselves have poison, like if you hit it- hit it in a wall and stuff. It is 700, right? Yeah, it doesn't like change the price in insane mode. Get poisoned. Yeah, that's pretty good. All 
All right, let's test this out. Okay, I mean, there's no cutscene here, so fair enough. I'm just gonna use it right away. I mean, it's not that good. That's like no damage. Oh, crap, yeah. When she does that, like, suck in thing, is that the, like, third tier of beam, or is it the second? Ooh. I don't know if that's the one where you can't even duck it, or if you can still duck, because maybe I should just, like, sit near an edge. That might be the best thing to do. Oh, close one. I don't know how these work. Like, when do they drop the lantern and when don't they? At least this run back isn't too bad. Right? Oh, shit. Let's see. I don't think I can duck this one. No, okay. Alright, that's fair enough. Yeah, Frida is a good fight. I'm just gonna use both, I guess. Why not? I can maybe get another charge shot off during that. I just wanna play it safe. Oh crap, I just jumped into her. I was scared of the poison. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe we should just run instead of jump there. Yeah. Is it like if you kill them with a ranged weapon? Is that when they drop the thing? It's only from arrows? I guess that would make sense. Yeah, just make sure to get that. Oh yeah, I should be using this as well. It's kind of stupid to not use originally, like right off the bat. Ah, oh, crap. That was just bad. Yeah, maybe I should just buff like even before I go into the fight. Could be worth it. Just start with buffing up. Honestly, just like, remove this. Who needs healing? So just buff up and then switch over. Uh oh, oh no, what am I doing? No, no, no. Oh, well, I didn't do it. But I'll just use it before I cast those two. I don't know if I have enough time.
And there we go. Yep. No problem. And sparse thread. Oh yeah, I didn't read the other one. No, I did. Yeah. Sparse thread. Casts a powerful burst of energy. Frida, deemed worthless, was thrown to the tombs underneath the capital. It's hardly possible to tell if it ever took the form of a human or of something else. Huh. That actually seems kind of good. It's quick, at least. Yeah, we'll see. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I mean, it kills one of those in one shot. That doesn't seem bad. Yeah, only two uses, but still, that's that's not bad. So yeah, now I kind of want money. I don't know if it's, like, worth farming these or something. Like, I guess they drop a decent amount. Not really. Uh, I could put on this as well, in that case. Whoops. That's not good. I don't know if it's faster to, like, go all the way to the monastery at this point. It's only 200 more. Don't even need a full three shots. Oh, that's bad. Let's make sure to save every couple ones. Oh yeah, I could just use the active item. I guess that's a little faster. Not by much. Wait, hold on. Let's try this one. If I can just like... Uh, I mean, ki hello? Jesus. Kind of, that, that doesn't seem very good. Little strange, I mean, maybe? I don't know which is faster, honestly. Yeah, I guess if I cast it earlier, it actually hits more of them. Yeah, okay, so I should just go in and use it. Yeah, that's that's actually way better. Though we do need to save every other attempt. Or I guess every three or whatever. I guess every other. Oh, it would be every three. Yeah, my mind is breaking. Yeah, we've almost got it. Whoops. So I guess that's worth considering as well on bosses and stuff. Like, it seems like each individual thwomp thing... Whoa. No, 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 no. Is like doing its own damage. So, it's not like it just does certain damage over time or whatever, it's just like, depending on exactly how many hit the target. So I guess on a big fight, like a Booba Witch, it would maybe be a lot better. Oh, well, we have exactly 700, but I didn't kill one. Alright, let's see. Does it actually work? It does work. Okay. Yeah, that, that kind of makes me not want to grab health ups, because I kind of want to get all these achievements, or uh, not achievements, but items anyway, for like doing it without taking damage. I might just ignore picking them up. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll probably pick up 
enough of them until it stops having this effect. And when I see this effect wear off, then I'll just uh, load the save. All right, I think maybe I'll like, oh, this is the wrong way. Maybe I'll get back to the monastery and then we'll call it for today. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic about insane mode. Because, yeah, we basically played the night night fight without taking damage anyway, like almost. So it's not really, I mean, yeah, I guess I did. It's just I used the missive, so I can't use that. So I will have less damage but it could still be fine. And I think everything else should be okay, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll definitely try it. Oh God. Yeah, now we just have double damage at all times. Uh. I'm actually gonna pick up the Magnet Stone, because, yeah, we, we do need 2,000 eventually. But yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Just permanently double damage. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, God! Jesus! Well... Great. Yeah, I do have double damage on the arrows as well, so I need to remember that. Jesus Christ! The tiny ones are so insane! As soon as you kill the large one, they get like a three times speed boost or something. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. See? Like, look at how fast they are! They just go completely mental. Once again, I don't remember, like, where to go from here. Oh god, this is so scary. Please. Still double damage. Oh god. Oh god. I guess I wouldn't know if I have double damage until I heal. Jesus Christ! They're so insane! <laughs> that enemy is like the worst enemy in the game. They just fly at you. That's the hardest attack in all video games. Probably like going right by a save point as well. I just don't remember where all of them are placed. No, probably not, honestly. Oh god, I was looking on the map. Oh no. Do you like elevators? Yeah, this is just a bunny. I mean, I, I guess might as well. Wonder why there's no save at the bunny.
Wow. Ten. Crazy. scared. I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, that's just this screen, which is probably... I mean, I guess that's where I have to go. I just feel like I should get this health up first. And I guess I'm gonna remove... Ah! I'm gonna remove that for now. I just wanna have the heal. Just so I can heal up after taking this and make sure that I'm still getting the, the bonus. Holy shit, he's so fast! Good lord. Yep, still have it. Now I gotta survive, though. This screen. No, 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 no. I don't remember where the save point is here. Good lord. Yeah, that's kind of a terrifying run as well. I don't know if I want the, the poison heal thing. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it off here. Jesus, yeah, that ended up taking longer than I wanted, honestly. Not much time for Blasphemous today, to, uh, unfortunately. But yeah, I'll take a break and then we'll do some Blasphemous. I think I'm gonna be able to do this. Maybe. We'll see.